Ooh, Lucas Arts. Hey everybody, Toxic Curve here again. Thanks for tuning back in for episode six of our adventures in the secret of Monkey Island. In the last episode, we just got the fabulous idol, the idol of many hands, which as you remember is the third and final trial for us to become part of the pirate crew. So let's make our way back to the scum bar and show them that we've got it. Oh crap. Where do you think you're going, <laughs> third wook? Uh, I've got to go put this idol in my safe deposit box. You know me. Not too late for us to make up and be friends. Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. Buzz off. Buzz off, Fester. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. What if I don't want to? Uh oh. <laughs> this is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important. And much too near completion. To risk getting letting a little would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake, or Droop Face, or whatever your name is. Oh, crap. Ah! <laughs> he just Italian mobbed us. Pretty good day. Yeah, for you, you freaking turd face. Alright. Um, walk to Rusty Knife. Deadly Meat Cleaver. I can't reach that from here. Razors. Axe. A sword. Walk to Hacksaw. Probably can't reach any of this. Got the rope. Wait, what if we just... This can't be heavy. We were carrying it before. <laughs> I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Yeah, because he freaking jerk took our sword. Uh-oh. Um, what was that? Did you guys just see that? I'm so confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? <laughs> we were underwater for like 30 seconds. The Chuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. How does he, <laughs> How does he know all this? He's blind. I caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Great. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Where did they go? Why don't you think we'll ever see her again? I'll get a crew and a ship and go rescue her. The Chuck's taking the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. <gasps> I'm afraid there's no pirate on this island brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. They left this note. You can have it, but don't think you'll like what it says. Oh, Governor, why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. It's all my fault the governor's in this mess. And I swear, I'll get her out of it. Even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. Well, look at note. Attention, Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well, and by my side, she will always, as she was always meant to be. 
If you try to find us, you will only be met with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> well, so we go see if there's any pirates that will join us in trying to save the governor. What the frick? Where is everybody? Oh, even the spinny guy is gone. That anchor will never be the same. Did everybody go to find her? Where are all the pirates? The governor is gone! The Chuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her on the ghost ship and spirited her away. And spirited her away. <laughs> she was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. And what will become of my business? Oh, woe is me! After her. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. So we need a boat. Wyatt Smiling stands use shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell him I sent you. We're old friends. It's disgusting when his tongue sticks out. Will you come with me? I do need a crew. Uh, alas, I cannot go to thee. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure and wear your mittens. <laughs> and your galoshes. And don't forget to write. <laughs> Bye now. Wow, he's really tore up. Well, I mean, it's probably... Looks like a fine pewter tinkered. I'll take that. I'll take this one too. Shh. Don't tell the chef. We're taking all of his mugs. Yes, we have all the pewter tankards. Oh crap. <laughs> I guess let's see if we can find a crew. Hey, you want to join my crew? Excuse me, but do you? Oh, it's only you again. I told you, there was only one in existence. Oh, these guys are still here. Did you know the governor's been kidnapped? Uh, well, yes, we knew about that. Rocking around on your rum jam barrel. Yeah, you look real busy. Find the rat. Yeah. And get rid of these minutes. Hmm. So I take it those guys aren't coming with.
he's probably not going to come with us. Cranky old codger. May I help you? <laughs> I'm here to loot the governor's mansion. <laughs> Do you have reservations, sir? And what would name would they be under? It's probably under S for Shine Top. Where is Shine? Where was he? For the next five hours. <laughs> but I might be able to squeeze you in around the two o'clock hour. Would that be okay? Yeah, that'd be fine. Super. I'll put you down for one to loot the governor's mansion at 2.30. Governor's been kidnapped. What? Here, look at this note. That really makes me mad. Me too, buddy. Me too. I feel like kicking someone. There's already a line. You gotta have reservations. I shall be eternally indebted. Until then, I pace. <sighs> well, what if we do this? I have an idea. They said that the grog has battery acid and or pepperoni in it. Which is the most caustic substance known to man. I wonder if we can melt the cell with some grog. We have a cup now to put it in. Or a mug. Sorry. A pewter tankard. This guy is so busy crying. He didn't want, probably won't even notice. Let's go back here. I knew it. Oh, look, some ham. We should pick this up. Use tankard mug with barrel. This stuff is eating right through the mug. Better hurry. Oh crap, it's melting. Wait, can we can we pour it into a new mug? <gasps> yes, we can. Ah. Dang, that's a, that's an ornery. Hey, great, a drink. I'm really thirsty. Oh. Wow. And I think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. Sucker. What? Jerk. <laughs> but... Do we still have a deal? I'm thinking that's probably no. Well, crap, we got screwed. Well, 
We do still have 174 pieces of aid. <laughs> I guess let's go see if we can buy a boat. Meanwhile... Having just returned from melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. What the freak? Uh, Captain, sir. I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Wait, what? Captain? Oh, ah! 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 Captain, are you alright? Oh! Ah! Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that was gross. Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Uh, yes, the prisoner. We had a little trouble. Trouble? Uh, nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times. But we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm now taking... I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood, then? Guybrush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. <coughs> Probably bloated like a f uh, fatted pig. Yes, eyes being eaten by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kinda makes you wish you were there to watch. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sure does at that. Now go check on the root. Root. Make sure it's locked up tight. Hi, Captain. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if the voodoo lady's back. Now that we know our true... Oops. True cause of saving the governor. Nope. I'm back. I'm ready to know more about the future. Whoa! She is back. So, you have returned to learn the future. I see you with some other willing to help in your cause. I really hate that flashing. It makes me see spots. Quiet. I'm getting another vision. I don't really know how to do a voodoo voice. You must... Must what? You must go to Monkey Island. Once there, you will search for the ghost pirate Lechuk. He hides deep, deep beneath Monkey Island. There is only one thing powerful enough to destroy Lichuk. What? It's an ancient root. Oh, he's just talking about that. Once prepared, the root can destroy a ghost with one touch. Yeah! I'm getting more, more vision. Spill it! I see the cannibals that live on the island. They are helping you or eating you. I can't tell. The vision isn't coming in clear anymore. Great. Now go and find the one that loves you. Ooh, she loves me. But be warned. Don't worry. I'll watch out for the chuck. Not of Lechuk, of yourself and what you will find. What you will find out about yourself and your world. 
I... It will terrify you. I will terrify you. <laughs> oh my goodness, and she's gone again. She's such a mysterious woman. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find a boat. We need a boat. We need a boat. I dare to touch the butt. We need a butt and a crew. Used ship emporium. Yes, it's Stan. I am Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels. And I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, little, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. Look at this little foot tapping. <laughs> oh, Stan. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, tell me. What are you interested in looking at today? Hmm. Some best ship, something not too expensive, but built to last. I don't really have that much to spend. That spiffy blue one by your office looks nice. Actually, I like to think about it. We don't actually have a lot of money. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island. And come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say anything? You see, the previous owners of the ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate, a mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human on board. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. How much would you like to spend? Money is no object. Actually, just hoping to get one on credit. Oh, no more than 174 pieces of eight. Look, this is a very reasonably priced ship. But, not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Um, <laughs> all I have is this rubber chicken. Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. 
pretty please? Pretty please, I really need a book. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. All I have is this rubber chicken. Isn't it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I've already got one of those. Dang it. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Hmm. Sounds like we're going to have to get a line of credit. Hmm. Of course it isn't. You're looking for a bigger boat, I can tell. So what else can I show you? <laughs> Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality? Hey, that's my motto. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. I said I gotta walk this way. Now I can see you're a no frills kind of guy. But I can also tell that quality means a lot to you. I mean, just look at the way you dress. <laughs> Rugged, like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north. Where the sea is as unforgiving as the men are tough and... Hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. Just how much were you looking to spend today? Yeah, let's go talk to the shopkeeper. Stop talking, Stan, and quit tapping your frickin' foot. <laughs> this is the best portrayal of a used car salesman ever. Don't count on it being here. Sure, sure. Think it over. I don't want to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. <laughs> I forgot to give you my card. And there's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it? That's right! It always points directly back here, so if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But if I can't guarantee that, any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today, yes siree! Can't hardly keep anything in stock! He'll be back. <laughs> uh, let's go talk to the shopkeeper. And we're coming up on half an hour here, so we'll probably go to the shop and we'll probably call this an episode, guys. Made some good progress. We freed one of the prisoners, the governor got kidnapped the prisoner that we freed ran away because he's a jerk face stupid Otis and we went and talked to Stan got his business card and a compass so in the next episode we'll talk to the shopkeeper and see if we can secure a line of credit I wonder how good our credit score is 
Anyway. And here we are at the shop. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks again for tuning in and watching, and I will see you guys next time.